Surgeon Robert Liston was among the most famous surgeons of his day and a pioneer in his field. Unfortunately, he was also one of the most deadly, accidentally killing two of his patients and permanently maiming at least 14 others in the process. His patients ended up dead or injured because Liston moved so quickly during his surgeries that he wasn't able to stop and make sure everything was in order before continuing on to the next step. Learn more about this well-known surgeon's grisly fate here. Who was Robert Liston? Dr. Robert Liston was a Scottish surgeon who was born in 1794. He was known for being a very skilled and quick surgeon, but he also had a dark side. Dr. Liston was known to be quite reckless with his patients, often causing them more harm than good. In 1847, the surgery went horribly wrong when a patient died from blood loss on the operating table. It is said that when Dr. Liston realized what happened, he fled from the room without finishing stitching up the body. He had an interest in anatomy. Dr. Liston was interested in anatomy and would often perform surgeries on cadavers in his spare time. He was also known for using unorthodox methods such as using leeches to treat patients with blood disorders. One incident involved an assistant who accidentally cut the vein while drawing blood from a patient. Dr. Liston tried to help by cutting the other arm but eventually resorted to tying a string around the vein until it coagulated and thus he did not lose any more blood. Despite his accomplishments, Liston is best remembered for two things, his speed-based surgical practices and the many people he killed during surgery. His surgical career was short. In 1846, Dr. Robert Liston performed the first ever operation using anesthesia in the United Kingdom. He was a skilled and talented surgeon. Liston was performing a leg amputation, but he cut off two fingers on his assistant's hand as he worked so fast. Both the patient and assistant died of gangrene, most likely because the saw was unclean. You see, doctors and other people from the audience would often watch surgeries from the gallery. But it was a closer view. It became a trend during Liston's procedures when he accidentally touched an elderly doctor who then began arguing. He performed the fastest amputation ever recorded. On October 23, 1846, during a routine operation to remove a patient's gangrenous leg, British surgeon Robert Liston managed to set a world record. He completed the amputation in just 2.5 minutes. And after he was done, he reportedly said, I've cut many limbs off since I became a doctor, but I've never cut one off so quickly that before giving the leg to his assistant with instructions to give it to a local hospital for use as an educational tool. When he did another amputation two days later, this time removing the patient's arm, Liston only needed five seconds to complete the surgery. What happened to Dr. Liston? Dr. Liston was a surgeon in the 1800s who had a reputation for being both skilled and quick. Unfortunately, his speed sometimes led to careless mistakes, such as leaving instruments inside patients or amputating the wrong limb. On one particularly gruesome occasion, he even severed a patient's testicles while trying to remove a tumor. Because of these accidents, some dubbed him the butcher. Despite his mistakes, however, Dr. Liston was considered one of the best surgeons of his time. He was admired by many colleagues and students, which led to a high demand for his services. How did he die? Robert Liston died of an aneurysm on 7 December 1847, and his Mayfair home and his funeral was held at St. Michael's Church, Highgate, six days later. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe.